It is the day after the election, and this afternoon we are learning more about both issues one and issues two, which Ohioans passed at the polls last night. Will they move forward, and how will this look, and what will take effect in our state? Yeah, we know there are still a lot of questions around what this all means, so let's start with issue two, legalizing recreational marijuana. Now, 57% of Ohioans voted to pass issue two last night, making Ohio the 24th state in the country to legalize recreational marijuana. This means that adults 21 and older can buy marijuana and grow plants at home with certain restrictions on the amounts. Now, this does not take effect for 30 days, though. Plus, the Division of Cannabis Control needs to be created, which then needs time for licensing. So when all of this does go into effect, what does it mean for employers and employees? And can employers penalize employees for using marijuana? We asked Adam Van Ho, a former assistant attorney general and Akron attorney, about this topic. How is it still a violation of federal law? Employers are still going to be able to drug test. As a matter of fact, I think the ones that are currently drug testing employees now will continue. And I think you're going to see not the employers pushing drug testing in the future, but their insurance companies. So, yes, employers can still make you pass a drug test to work somewhere. In fact, the statute itself says nothing prohibits an employer from establishing a drug testing policy or drug-free workplace policy. Van Ho says he expects jobs in medicine and law enforcement in particular. They may see more testing because those professions handle different medications and weapons, plus jobs where you have to operate machinery or drive a company car. And speaking of law enforcement, how does legal marijuana impact OVIs and getting pulled over? We also asked about that, and we'll have more ahead for you on 3 News at 5. Continuing with this topic, issue two passing could mean a huge spike in the marijuana industry for Ohio. Our Kira Cotton visited the Cleveland School of Cannabis with details on what this could potentially mean for their business. I'm here at the Cleveland School of Cannabis where they have been preparing people to work in the marijuana industry since 2017. And with the passing of issue two, there is so much to be learned. So joining me now with information is Kevin Green, the vice president here. How are you, Kevin? I'm doing well today. How are you? Doing fantastic. Thank you so much for having us out. Can you talk to me a little bit about what the Cleveland Cannabis School offers? So we're all about education. Whether you're somebody that is wants to work in the industry, whether you're a patient or just an individual wants to understand what this whole plan is all about. All about we have something here for you we have programs that start at $50 all the way up to our flagship certificate program so we're all about making sure people have the information so they can make educated decisions about cannabis yeah and you mentioned earlier that it is hands-on learning talk to me a little bit about where we are right now so we're in a cooking lab right so I probably think this is probably the most uh, favorite class of any student because <laughs> what it is is all about infusing and learning how to cook like with cannabis you, you know most yeah. of the time that we've heard about cannabis is all about combusting cannabis and smoking cannabis but really the other side of cannabis being able to infuse it in your food and other deliveries is such a really way to open up your experience, but also to understand all the different ways you can interact with cannabis. And truthfully, a lot of times a lot easier to interact with it as well. And you mentioned that interaction with cannabis. I understand that coming up with the passing of issue two in 30 days, people will be able to grow cannabis in their homes. But you guys have a program for that. Yeah, so our My First Plant program was all about how do we empower the individual to be able to take advantage of their own medicine, their own wellness. Now, the one thing, if anyone's ever tried to be a green thumb, it's not that easy with all the YouTube that you watch as well and all the tips from your friends. So what we want to do is we want to set everyone up for success. We want to make sure that they have the information, the tools, and our one-stop shop kit. Make sure that you have everything you need to be sex successful and obviously the instructor as well. And you mentioned setting people up for success. If they want to get involved here at the Cleveland School of Cannabis, how can they do that? Uh, the best way to reach us is cseducation.com. Obviously, we're on all social media accounts and things of that sort. Or just Google the Cleveland School of Cannabis. We're right here in Granger Road in Independence and looking forward to uh, have our next round of students coming in to learn. Absolutely amazing. Kevin, thank you so much. The vice president here. And again, guys, this education is going to continue to evolve as we learn more following the passing of issue two. But in the meantime, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.